Should we just turn endangered animals into burgers? I think so. Imagine being these flamingos right now and you're trying to wonder if you're gonna end up on the chopping block. This one's just trying to hide behind this beam and waiting for the trainer to go away so it can check its iPhone and check its Wikipedia page to see, am I endangered? We just build this lovely electric fence to keep all of the prisoners hostage. And we're just gonna put a couple of, you know, giant pandas inside of this habitat. And here they are now to start their new lives as burgers. I love how all of these park guests are like lining up as far as they can to watch a bunch of endangered animals inside of an electric gate before they get killed. I love showing my children the source of their meat organically before they eat them. And no, I'm not just gonna send in a zookeeper to go and just, you know, shoot down these lovely endangered animals in front of all of our guests because that's just barbaric. What if instead we made sort of a, you know, a meat grinder that kind of grinds up the pandas into nice delicious patties. Which is why I built this! A lovely and beautiful endangered animal meat grinder. And that's why I put in these super sharp blades to get rid of all of the unsavory parts. Like the fur and the claws and you know the cries of PETA. So I need to make sort of like this ramp way that's gonna take them to their deaths. Honestly this is just starting to- it actually kind of looks like a T-Rex. Which if it were an endangered animal today it would definitely be going into the grinder. Okay I'm going to admit that there's something very disturbing about the look and the shape of this thing. Like it honestly just looks like a squiggly turd. But that's probably exactly what's gonna be coming out of these people after they eat you know endangered animals. This looks like an appropriate death walk, doesn't it? Ironically, I'm just noticing now that it sort of looks like the Great Wall of China. I love the smart plan by the zookeepers to put in a bunch of food to fatten up our food. And having endangered animals climb up a death ramp to go into a giant meat grinder is great and all, but where does the meat go? How about 10 chief beefs? I figure we need as many burger shops as possible if we're grinding up a bunch of endangered animals. I love how people are already rushing in to get one of these burgers. And the gate is officially open. But the pandas don't really seem to care all that much. But if you think for one second that I'm letting them off and not gonna send them to their desk in this meat grinder, you have another thing coming. Because we have 406 hungry people in this park and they expect to eat panda bear. So I may have went a bit overboard and built this. I think we'll just call this a food containment center. It's kind of like in a factory when they have like a refrigerated place where they keep all of the meat before they make it into chicken nuggets. Except the animals here will be live and they'll just be waiting for the ground to collapse under them where they fall to their deaths. Imagine being these pandas right now and you're just getting boxed up to go on a move and you think, this is it. I'm finally going to be placed somewhere great. They're moving me and my family up to greater pastures. And then he just dumps you off up here. This one is basically just given up on life. Ooh, look at the seasoning we have for our burgers down below. But part of me is thinking that three panda bears is not gonna feed 410 people. Maybe we need a few more endangered species to put up here. And just to make sure things are good up here, disable animal predation and fear stops animals hunting each other. While an animal fight club would be pretty cool, we kind of need to feed our guests. Are lions endangered? If they're not, they're about to be. As in their lives are gonna be very endangered when the ground opens up below them and you know, they fall to their grinding deaths. Aw, a couple polar bears. I feel so bad for this one because rhinos are my favorite animal in the world, but you know what? They're very endangered. Wait, aren't? Chinese pangolins the things that, you know, started this whole worldwide pandemic because too many people wanted to eat them and bats. Yeah, I figure if you're dumb enough to eat a creature like this, we'll put it in for a little bit of seasoning. And actually to make this go even quicker, we're gonna hire just a bunch of caretakers and keepers so that they can just keep delivering like the dozens of animals that I'm ordering in. Because our numbers are rapidly growing inside of the park and people are gonna be hungry soon. Look at all of them just running up like ants to deliver all of these animals. And there's those lovely little pangolins. Ah, so my zoo is where Rona started. The more animals that I put into that little pen up there, the more the population of this park goes up. 
And because they can't go up there, all they can do is look at the three flamingos that we have in here. Which makes me think that we should do some marketing. After all, look how popping these burger stands are. They're so popping that people are just phasing through benches and fences to get to them. And why not? Look at all the meat we have for them to eat. This poor Indian elephant is hungry and thirsty and pretty much looks like it's on the brink of death. I know that we started with the panda bears and all, but an elephant could feed so many people. Oh my god, look at it just sink down. This is it, people. The elephant's <laughs> going down into the grinder, baby. And it's gone. And then we just close this back up like nothing ever happened. Elephant? What elephant? There was never an elephant that, you know, we sent down to be ground up and die. There's 3,500 people in this zoo. And look how crazy they go for the elephant burger. Which honestly makes me think of one thing. We need way more animals if we're gonna feed all of these people. And to think I was gonna feed all those people with just three little panda bears. And I'm not gonna lie, some of these animals already look like they're dead, which is great for us. Struggling inside of the meat grinder spoils the meat. I love how this tiger, which is heavily endangered, is hungry and dehydrated, but its animal welfare is 100%. Using cheats in a game like this when you're trying to make this video is what I like to call a pro gamer move. Oh my god, one of the pangolins is escaping. This is definitely how Rona started. And there it goes back into the burgers. I have no idea what the frame rate is doing on this video right now as I'm recording, but there's 6,300 people crammed into this tiny park. And like I said before, the only thing they can actually see are these three flamingos right here. Although some of them seem to still run up to go and see an electric fence chamber that's completely empty. Look at the absolute mayhem to get one of these burgers. I honestly think at this point that elephant is probably long gone and they need more meat inside of the chief beef stands. So sadly, I think it's time to say goodbye. Actually look at it before I turn time back on and send them down. There are a few of them who are going to escape death and live to tell the tale. But during all the madness, we accidentally have one of these zookeepers going down with them. Oh well, I guess that's the cost of doing business. Good night, my children. And just like that, all of the crates are there full of meat to be shipped around the country and into our park. Although a good portion of the primates seem to have eluded me. So I guess the only thing we can do is to start an animal fight club. Ah, they're chasing each other and hunting each other around. Just the way nature intended.